X-rays don't tend to play a very large part of the evaluation for reflux disease necessarily. When a patient drinks barium and we take x-rays, what we are seeing is an outline of the inside of the patient's gastrointestinal tract. It's very good at demonstrating irregularities in that outline. So it will show us a stricture or a scar on the esophagus. It will show us a hiatal hernia, perhaps where the stomach has pushed up into the chest. Uh, and it may show us uh, other abnormalities, perhaps of prior surgery that we have performed. It's very good at showing us actively when the patient swallows that barium, how easily does it pass? Because sometimes patients will complain of difficulty swallowing and it may be related to the fact that their esophagus does not carry the swallowed food forward the way it is supposed to. That barium swallow or upper GI may give us a sense of what that problem is. There's a subtle distinction between an upper GI where the radiologist gives the patient barium and watches it go down past the stomach and a barium swallow, which is what we like to use. The barium swallow is very focused on the esophagus. We get many more views and much more subtle information about esophageal function and that's why we would use that x-ray. Unfortunately, a negative barium swallow is of no value in telling someone that they do not have reflux. In other words, I can't use that x-ray to tell you you don't have reflux disease, but I can use it to map out the features of the esophagus and to help us plan our surgery.